Hey, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone is doing well. Um, have quite a bit to show you guys today. Uh, past days I've been uh, finding some pretty good stuff. Um, I think it started since last weekend, but why not? We're good, right? First, I did pick up some extra supplies that I needed, which one is picked up some more of the if you do if you do customs or anything you will pick up these kind of paints this is um, I only do handwork with this paintbrush handwork um, I don't know if this is something you can use for um, airbrushing or anything I've never tried it you might if you have to thin it out a little bit you have to see the pros for that and I'm not a pro not at customizing or paint but I use that for uh, the interiors or the base um, and the way I store that is in these you fit about eight of them and you say well what is that little tray <laughs> I'm glad you asked. It is one of these. Yep, it's an empty one. Simply take take the base off. And now you got yourself a little bend there. All right. Here I have another one with just four. And I use just the foam at the bottom just to raise them up. Otherwise they don't fit right. Okay. So I'll do that, and then I will, whoop. and there we go, got some new paint. Again, like I said, I'd like to paint the bases and the interiors. Um, so yeah, and I also picked up some more nail polish remover, I was out. As you know, I do a lot of removal. So, I buy that. I have a little spray bottle. Just put it on there. Yep. I usually, and I don't spray it on the car because you might ruin something else. So, I use a small rag. And you wonder, where'd you get that rag? I know, I know. Where do I get my rags? Well, this shirt hasn't yeah there's sleeves I cut all I cut off a lot of sleeves off my t-shirts so uh, I keep these for paint yep they work great and trust me I got quite a bit so when it gets old toss it pull out a new one right so got that also got some new felt if you've ever seen my videos um, and look these are at Hobby Lobby for 25 cents okay and what I use this for if you use turntables this is what I use to keep them from sliding off we don't always have straight leveled tables um, and as you're recording and it's going around they like to slide off so this actually keeps it <clears throat> from sliding too much. I don't know. Haha, <laughs> it slid. Alright, so, and like I said, they're only 25 cents. You cut them out, make your circle. And, um, use it you can glue them down tape them down whatever you need or i sometimes just tape it because then once they get old like this one does it gets old and real fuzzy um i'll replace it so that's that um i did find now the what i have found and i found a whole eight in good packs if you know 
remember last time I told you that I found some I had found like six of them or seven but all the fronts of the blister were all busted and I, I'll keep them so I can open them but I will find a new pack I was able to make one whole set out of what I had found at, at a it wasn't even a local target. I, was, I went two towns out south. had a doctor's appointment. On the way out, I'm like, nearest target, right? <laughs> and uh, went there completely full. The pegs were full. I mean, people had already gone through them, but there was still a lot of good stuff there. So, yes, I found this, all eight of them. And what I do with these, if you notice, yep, one hand. So, because they all have the same top, I simply put them all together and I run a piece of uh, packing tape on, along, around the back, all the way top to the bottom. I got my other three sets overhanging there, hanging on the other shelf. And I'll just take this, put a paper clip here, and hang it next to it. I got that set ready, going. All right. So, we're going to do some unboxing here. We're going to open up some... Um, some castings um, where do I want to start um, how about this all right we'll pick, I picked up the low rider here the low what is, what is it called lay in low rider right some of you probably saw this on Instagram already love those colors awesome but what if they had chrome rims all right like that Did a wheel swap, opened up the windows, painted the engine black. Um, that back window, you see it, it's dark tinted, and then you see the front window green. It was a small window, so when I, when I want to tint windows that I don't have a replacement, um, Sharpie. And I use the uh, the thick ones because the better <clears throat> the better I can do one 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 uh, swipe at it, it comes out perfect. If you take a little skinny one and you're going back and forth, back and forth, then then you see all the little lines, and it doesn't look right. You want to try to do a good uh, red um, swipe with enough marker on it so that it doesn't uh, fade out or uh, leaves gaps in it, so you want to go one over. You can go over it again if it doesn't come out right. You know, sometimes you got to get that marker going. One swipe, maybe back and forth, and it leaves it nice. Makes it look nice. Let's see how. See if you can see it on here. If not, I'll do a. I'll put them on the table, and then you can see this on the table. All right. Okay, here is the lay-in lowrider. Um, I did open up the windows, but I honestly I didn't do nothing with the interior because there really isn't um, the interior in here. There's no dash or steering wheel. The seats are like extra extra small in there. Um, yeah, it doesn't even fit the car, so I didn't even bother with it. I left it. You can see the outside and that's I guess that's that's what I like anyway. So also did the the Stingray Corvette, the gray one. Did the uh, leather interior, leather brown. I'll be putting this on the table too. Now here's why. Why if you know answer this question please. Why is it that the hard top the new ones come in plastic with the metal base? 
honestly for myself i do not like that i wish they were all metal i'll take the plastic base all the time but give me a metal top metal body okay the convertibles all come out in metal plastic base but the hard tops come out in plastic with metal base i mean one time twice fine but come on i'm trying to collect die cast not plastic why well, no die cast is casting in a mold but let's go with metal and not plastic <sighs> anyways let's move on there so i'll put that on the on the table too so that you can see that one all right here is the corvette stingray in gray or silver whatever you want to call it with the leather brown or peanut butter <laughs> whatever you want to call that I did do the the white one and the blue one as well and the next one is the Fifty-seven Chevy. Did the tail lights there? Did the headlights? Did the little V shape there in the in the uh, front hood chromed? Wasn't sure. I may still paint the interior. I had ran out of my black, the glossy black, so I finally got some more. I'm thinking a glossy black. I'm thinking I'll see I'll see what I'll see what's up but there it is without the with all the all the letters everyone's been uh, who was it uh, Mustang Hunter um, was showing it on his video that I can't remember who, who it was that found one without the lettering and it looked really sharp really really sharp so of course, I do it all the time. I remove deliveries, the decals, whatever I can. I remove them. Um, did it with, put the nice chrome lens on this one. Uh, but I will say this: if you work on these before, they used to come off very, very easy. You just barely wet your rag, go over with nail polish, and they would come right off. I think Mattel's doing something more with this paint. Yeah, um, it. Trust me, my hand was hurt. My uh, fingers were in pain because of how hard I had to rub to remove it. Um, but I got it done. And very happy with it. As you can see, very slick. Very, still very shiny, glossy. I'll put this on, on the turntable as well so you can see that as well. And the 57 Chevy. I think that came out really nice. Removing the the letters on there, the artwork, the art car. I think these wheels fit perfectly on there. See the the tail lights. I like to shape uh, chrome out where the tail lights would go. The same with the front. Yeah, I like that. And here's one that I was looking for since last year. I'm glad they brought out another one um, I have not I was not able to find anything last year because they went really quick but uh, this year I just I had just mentioned it and walked into a Walmart started digging in some new bot uh, new uh, drop bins and I found it yeah baby uh, I found two which is all I needed because that's what I collect. Um, somebody must have left them there for me. Right, Godzilla? Maybe Godzilla did. No. But, thank you. You can leave. He's a nice guy. So, this was actually for my son. He loves Godzilla. 
I'm not really into the Nissans and stuff, but I did keep one. <clears throat> but um, he loves Godzilla, Transformers, the Hulk. Those are his favorite characters. Um, so yeah, I was trying to find this for February for his uh, birthday. And uh, didn't find it, but I'm sure he'll love it just as much now. He, did, he doesn't collect Hot Wheels or cars. Um, other than if it's a transformer car or truck, right? Um, but when it comes with something on it that he likes, he will keep it. So this is for him. <clears throat> and also we have, oh, here's the uh, 57 Chevy with the, the art car. Pretty cool. Here is the 20 Ram 1500 Rebel in black. That's awesome. Definitely be doing a wheel swap on that. All right. Found the. Let me go through all the loose carded or the <clears throat> carded ones first. Got the Porsche keychain, the 911. I'm doing this with the wrong hand. Because my car my camera is in a different spot. Spot now. Okay. We got the 71 Al Camino. Cool one. And we got the Shelby Cobra, Daytona Coupe really slick looking car right there maybe I'll do a wheel swap just to see what it comes out like if I can find me some uh, some black ones or some white ones I'm thinking we'll see how that comes out get over there got the uh, 67 Chevy C10 and I've been seeing this on everyone's channels and Wondering when they were going to come out by me, and <clears throat> they came out in one shot. Yeah. Uh, 72 Chevy. Love. Pretty cool. I likes it. And we got the Flame, Hot Wheel Flames. I had found two of them at first. I said, okay, that's all I need. I don't need to look for any more. And then this gentleman showed up. His name is John. Um, we were talking and talking. He's, he's also a collector. So we were talking and he says, oh, that's, I'm also looking for that one. I said, here. So I gave him my the other one. He goes, oh, are you, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. And I go, I'll find another one. I'll, I need one for now. And I usually collect two, uh, but I will find a second one later. And we kept talking. I kept looking through the, the rest of these. And there was another one. So <laughs> I found two anyway. So we'll be opening that one up. And uh, I'll show you those as well on the turntable. Wow, look at that. Nice tribal flames on there. Yeah, just need some wheels on it. Back end. I can open up the side windows and uh, paint the interior, maybe tint the windows. We'll see how this. I'll see what I do on this. If I if I lift it or, or. Not keep it so slammed, but put some nice. Wheels on it. We'll see how that comes out. Look at that. The red on this is cherry. Very nice. Nice flames on there. Chromed out engine. Could use some detailing on there headlights yeah I may I might as well do the wheels as well on this one
that is beautiful look at that orange definitely gonna do a wheel swap on this I'm just not one for gold rims yeah unless unless you're talking Porsche or something but not on these uh, classic muscle cars oldies very nice I likes it look at those flames fire and here are the other two the last two this one's nice This one's cool. A little too weird for me, but hey. It's got flames, right? Very nice. Okay, up next we got the out of the Adventure Force. Um, I picked up this Mustang. It looks pretty cool. It the front end is done in, it's painted. I like it. Nice little wheel swap on that. Detail it. If I can find an interior that fits it, I will. I'll put it in there. Um, definitely, definitely cut the windows out. The side windows, of course. Um, but I'm gonna do a wheel swap on that. Um, let's just pull it out here. And it's heavy. this is a good heavy a heavy one and it's nice I think it's gonna I think it's gonna do pretty good with a nice wheel swap on there also the uh, Silverado EV I do drive Silverados I know people are saying you know gas or electric gas or electric let me tell you something guys um, yeah, I love my Silverado. What would I choose? I would choose what what I can afford, right? <laughs> we can't get it. We can't afford it. How well is gas? How well is, you know, what, what are we doing to our ozone layers and all that kind of stuff? You know what? I'm not a scientist. But I do need my truck. And if it gets replaced, if they all get replaced, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. Uh, but electric cars are evolving. They're coming to a town near you. Um, I would definitely go for a truck, right? I'll see. I'm going to try a wheel swap on that. See how that works out. M2s. M2s. The Dodge, what is this? Power Wagon. Another one, look at that. Don't have this one yet. Um, Yep, that's a good one. The other uh, GMC, like a blue camel. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. I like it. Don't got to do nothing to those. I take him off and just sit him on the diorama, right? Okay, we got the. Now, I know this one's been out for a while, this set. The Porsche 718 came in GT4. I finally found a red one. I picked them up separately. As long as there's a Porsche, I'll get it. I do like the Porsches. Alright, that'll go that'll get opened up and put in the in the jammer. And then this Porsche 934 Valiant. A lot of a lot of uh decals on this. I think it's a racing one. Uh, I like that. 
all the different little colors on it. That one too will get open and just placed in the jammer. Um, how about this? Yep. Moving parts. Mustang. I have a jammer of Mustangs as well, so this will go in there. And look at that. Now I think I did a, a wheel swap on the blue one. Yes. Here's the blue one. So I gotta put his mate next to him. So I will be doing a wheel swap on this as well. Painting the bottom. This will be easy. It'll be all black. Um, but yeah, very cool. All right. So I will do that black one up. We'll swap it. Um, I got this. A uh, just trucks. I do collect just trucks, and this is a Chevy Silverado pickup. Um, I will do a wheel swap on this, not too fond of the whole red underneath and the red rims, but I will, um, I will find some, some wheels for that one. Like I did this one, this is a just trucks, if you remember that. Even did the interior red match. Not really, you know, the off road tires, but lifted. Yep. So I will do this one up as well. I just will open it. I like that very nice so another one to keep me busy right <laughs> uh, yeah that's what I do I love um, wheel swapping and touching up you know like I've mentioned before I don't get into all the the full paint uh, because I'm not I'm not too familiar with all the the enamels and paints to be able to mix or a clear I've sprayed something before with a clear and then the paint underneath disintegrated because it wasn't the same you know uh, type of paint I guess um, but usually if something comes if I pick something up it's because I like the paint on it already you know uh, it's just easier for me but um I think guys I think that's gonna be it um yeah yeah I hope <laughs> I hope because if I leave something out I'll be like man I gotta make a whole separate video no uh, I think it's enough but thank you all so much uh, all the subscribers old and new thank you appreciate you um and and to me it's just the the, the point of um, am I showing enough Am I showing, not enough, am I showing what interests you? Um, as you've seen in my other videos, I have trains, layouts. I'm always, I'm always trying to set up some sort of a little display diorama. Um, behind here are all my trucks. This is usually not here. I usually have all my trucks there. Um, but I do like to show this off in a way where I can just take cars that I've worked on set them there and see how it looks you know um, add pictures take pictures to put on Instagram 
you know that's what I, I like to show single shots on there um yeah so I'm sure I've run up a lot of minutes there guys but uh, thank you all for hanging in for checking it out any questions please feel free if you're new to the channel uh, you have any questions please ask me I would love to answer whatever I can regarding dioramas or wheel swaps um, how I lift my trucks I've tried showing a couple videos already here and there um, but I'll try to do some more just to show every little bit of how I do I always try to find the easiest way trust me uh, but it's got to look good um, am I a pro no but <laughs> But it's good enough for me right because that's where i'm putting it i put it in my diorama and i can take pictures of it and then just do videos and get it ready for my races basically um but that's it guys hope you enjoyed it have a great rest of the week um hope you guys all enjoy the eclipse coming up eclipse so uh yeah let's see what happens let's see what happens all right, so you guys take care, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Have a great night, great day, great week. Oh, hey, one more thing. Check it out. This way or that way? Just check it out.